What's up? I'm Randy from If I Were You, and you're listening to local band Smokeout. Gentlemen, the one, the only Atria! Yeah, hell yeah! Woo. Let's go! Yo. Gentlemen, what up? how's the day? How is life? Talk about Blue Devils being one of the best songs I've heard all year. What's up? How, how, how you, have you been? Dude, doing good, man. Uh, we're super excited that uh, we got a drop. Blue Devils and show everybody kind of what we've been kind of working on and, uh, you know, the natural progression of things, you know, so. I know that we've been waiting on that song and video for a while. How how long has it been completed? And, and then can you just talk about the process of we have it in hand, but we got to do all these things first before we actually see it for the first time? Uh, that was actually the first song we wrote. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, so the reason why it took so long is because we we uh, saw its potential, but we didn't have the, I mean, just like most of us bands, you know, it's it's not cheap being a band. So we had to uh, kind of make sure that our vision matched what we, what we really wanted. And so, um, yeah, we sat on that one for a while. But yeah, that really was uh, one of our first songs that was written. It was actually Dakota uh, had acoustically written it already. Um, so we kind of did a reverse engineering, if you will. And, uh, there you are. So <laughs> was, was that, is that one that you guys have been playing live for a while? It's just the timing as far as like single release, or is that it was just a matter of finding yeah. the right producer to capture it? Uh, we have been playing it live, uh, pretty much the whole time we have been playing live, but like I said, we've done like tweaks and stuff like that. So there were, uh, Chris is, uh, our, you know, producer, uh, in the band, um, all, all rough tracks and stuff start and stop with him. And so we didn't, you know, necessarily have like the right synth packs and different things like that to really make it as large as we really wanted it to be. Um, once Chris got those, it was like lightning struck. You know what I mean? It was like everything kind of made sense. And within, you know, two or three practices, it, it felt like the song finally like lived up to what we really wanted it to be. So yeah, it came out fantastic. I feel like since the last time I've talked to you guys, a little more ink, a little more ink on everybody I see. Uh, can, can you show off some yeah. any, any new ink that uh, we may not be aware of? Gengar. Oh, no. Oh, Gengar. <laughs> All eyes on me. Bo Burnham. Shout out Tupac. I don't think I was. I don't think I was in the last chat. Okay. So. And then you, oh, yeah, you got something. You got something under here that I, I don't think I saw last time. Oh, my cicada. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a cicada. Uh, this is Johnny's first stream with us. He usually misses them, unfortunately. Appreciate you being uh, here, Johnny. Our drummer, our drummer Jared. Uh, is out. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it. Uh, you know, it's getting colder, so some of that oh, sickness got dead. him. So, this is dead. Um, unfortunately, he won't join us today. But no worries. But uh, what what do you guys have planned for 2024? I know sometimes some of this stuff's like secretive. We're not allowed to know. Is there anything that we are allowed to know that we can look forward to? For for I mean, even talking the remaining of this year. If there's anything you want to plug or promote. Um. For us, really, it's it's uh, continually getting you know better gear and uh, start hopefully making our way uh, to playing outside of our uh, outside of Kansas. You know, um, EP release. EP release. Um, like I said, main thing is just playing in other places and being able to do all that. But you know, we're all fathers. Uh, I myself am back in school. Um, you know, there's all the regular life things outside of making music that kind of hold back on that kind of stuff. So right now it's uh, just trying to get all that stuff done and kind of lined up so that we can come out and party with everybody, you know? So that's what we really like to do. West so coast, please. West coast shows, please. <laughs> We'd love to, man. We'd love to. Is, is uh, we, the... are, we are working on finishing an album right now. Is it an album or an EP? Uh, that... 
Well, uh, it's it has 12 and it might have 13 songs. So it is what it is. <laughs> we uh we decided to go down like uh pretty much like the pop route of things. Um we noticed that when people generally drop an album, people are real high on it for like 2 weeks and then they kind of move on. So um, we wanted to kind of follow that formula of just hitching, hitting you guys with a uh, single every now and then. Um, we will eventually drop the rest of the album. Um, might have, what, one or two more singles before it's all said and done with, and then drop everything all at once. Yeah. So I think that's kind of our plan right now. Are, are all the songs already recorded? They're, they're started on. For sure, most well, of, most of them. We got a couple that we have. Well, we have. Um, um, so recently, we actually started writing some songs on the seven string. Uh, none of those have been recorded yet. So we have we have a handful of songs that we're choosing from for for that. So there'll probably be three, maybe seven string songs on the album that haven't that no one's ever heard, never played them live. We haven't recorded them yet. So. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. Trying uh, to get a little jumpiness. <laughs> kind of a kind of an odd question, but I've noticed that Johnny's starting to do more and more vocals uh behind Dakota. Has there ever been a talk of letting him take the lead for one song? Often. Really? Often. Yeah, dude. Uh Johnny's vocals are absolutely fucking amazing. So uh the any chance we can try to utilize some harmonies or like give him some spotlight. Obviously you guys heard that in tether. Um, he, he was a lead singer to bands in the past. Um, he, he, jo okay? he joined us. He wasn't even a, a bassist at the time. We just, we liked his vocals. He, he could yeah. play guitar. So here, so play this. Like one of those things, like, <laughs> if you can play yeah, the fucking guitar. In fact, yeah, he actually did it play bass at all when we, we just drive away at 4 a.m one day going just let me play bass in the band don't yeah we, we <laughs> slipped on him like with, you know like with Corey taylor we all just ganged up on him and said you're joining our fucking band now like, called chris <laughs> at like 7 a.m and i was like hey man we should just let johnny in the band yeah, yeah. hey do you, uh, i don't know if you remember me but you did uh ngnk you're you probably you do so many bands but I was it, repeat band. it repeat it again the, what's it called ngnk i did all the like writing the music and singing pretty much. Okay. I'll have to go back and look that one up. Uh, I, how long ago was that? Oh God. Four or five years probably. Okay. okay. It felt like yeah. it was a while back for sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we definitely want to get him some more, some more spotlight in, in, in that way. Um, it's, it's definitely a, it's a balancing act, right? So um, we're even talking about doing some collabs with uh, some of the friends that we've, made along the way um i'm not going to do any name drops because it, obviously that's going to be something that's uh tasty when it does finally come out but mm -hmm. um yeah we've got we've got some things like that planned so cool it, like bigger names or or local talent i don't know if you can really bigger. okay cool that's It'll awesome that's awesome i don't know if you guys wanted to do the trivia I normally don't want to follow up but because i got four fifths of the band here i feel like we should do some trivia if you're down uh you're familiar with how it works? Uh, no. Okay, no. so if if you if it's possible to go grab a hot sauce real quick, is that is that doable? Do you... <laughs> yeah, I got some hot sauce. Okay, cool, excellent. Right. Uh, while he's grabbing that, I need to know if is there a <laughs> is there a movie or a TV show that you guys could agree on? Where if I look up trivia on this, there's no way I could stump you because you've seen it so many times. A movie or a TV oh, show, okay. one or the other. Oh, my friend, you got us on that one. What do you guys think? The Boys, maybe? I knew the Boys. Probably do. Maybe The Boys? I'm mediocre, mediocre on it, but I don't care. Um, I don't know. What am I eating, hot sauce if I fail? Yeah, I, do I'll do too. hot sauce regardless. Whether you get it right or wrong, I'll still do the hot sauce. Uh, hold on. <laughs> this got... dude's just taking hot sauce shots. I, I'm just used to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got. All right. I don't have the boys. It does not pop up. It comes with bad boys, Wonder Boys, K-pop boys, um, Little Boys. Okay, so Chili Habanero. He's asking us if there's one show in particular that we can all agree on. 
to do like a trivia on. And I was like, the or a movie, or a movie, or a movie, or a movie, which I think is easier because the show has you know, oh, five yeah. seasons, 10, 20 episodes a season. I could pick anything. All right. What do you guys think movie wise? What's a... If you guys are going in, on the road in a van and you and for some reason the DVD player, once you put something in it, it's, it's stuck in there for nice the tale. whole tour. What would uh, it be? Uh, a Night's Tale. A Night's nice Tale? Nice tale. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. World <laughs> Dog, you guys know I'll be making you guys watch stupid ass kung fu movies. We'll be watching Kung Pao Fist of Fury and shit. Fucking <laughs> uh, what's the one I have? A knight's tale. What's that one with the hand of God? Yeah, like, oh, the, the journey to the center of the world. Dude, that, yeah, that uh, movie fucking rules, dude. You wanna do that one? Uh, Jour- uh, journey yeah. to the center of the earth? No, 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 not journey to the center of the earth. We're talking about cheesy Kong Pao or Kong, uh, Kong Fu movies. You know, Kung Fu Hustle. Kung, Kung Fu Hustle. Hustle. Yeah. Yeah, what a movie. <laughs> what a movie, bro. The fucking, she hits that sign in her bra. Yeah. Like, so you want me to do Kung Fu Hustle? I keep changing it. <laughs> Try Kung Fu Hustle. Okay. Ah, I'm gonna fail regardless. Kung Fu Hustle does Kung pop up. Kung Fu Hustle does pop oh, up. God. So give me a second uh, to to look that up. Do you guys have any, <laughs> any, any pre-show rituals that are abnormal and usual uh something that you guys all do to like personally warm up and get ready for the show maybe you do one of these kick ass i don't know whatever or uh anything you do after a fantastic show like a ritual we go here and eat and grab a pizza anything that you do before and after um not not particularly usually we just go and hang out with whomever is at the show i guess that's kind of the after show ritual is just kind of try to meet whomever was wanting to come out and say hi yeah it could get with whoever's touring um that's that's pretty much our, like, our main thing what, red star and them just came through and i hung out with them in a planet fitness parking lot until like 1 30 in the morning yeah <laughs> you gotta stay yeah, fit man that's pretty much it i mean we're all we're all pretty chill, so like we don't really do too much, any, you know, anymore. Like maybe in our twenties and stuff, but now we're getting into our thirties, so it's, uh, you know, we keep it pretty, pretty calm. So I feel you. What hot sauce did you grab? Yeah. We've got three different ones. We've got Cholula, Iguana Gold. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Some habanero sauce. El Yucateca Taku Taku. I don't fucking know. Some chili habanero sauce. Okay, so we'll just say if I stump you, just just hit like a little quick, you. little quick swig, little whoop, quick swig. You don't feel sh- something like that. Let's do it. Kung Fu Hustle trivia. I gotta ask one to see if you've really seen it a bunch of times. If you get the first one, I'm gonna ask the second one. The second one's gonna be dramatically harder. Here we go. In Kung Fu Hustle, the Axe Gang, the Axe Gang, in the very beginning of the movie, defeat a rival gang. What is the name of the rival gang? All right, fuck. <laughs> you don't even know that? No. No, I'm trying to remember. I haven't seen this movie in 10 years. All right, wait. <laughs> Time out. Nah, fuck it. Fucking terrible the trivia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, well, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do one of these. Enjoy the hot sauce. Cheers. The answer, what is, it? What the what answer is, is the Crocodile Gang. The Crocodile Gang leaves the police station and then encounter the Axe Gang. The leader of the Crocodile Gang tries to flee and is uh, machine gunned down. That's what it says. Cheers. Yeah, we're going to fail all of these. we got to pick another movie. You can't switch. We're letting you down, BG. We're letting you down, man. You're not. You're Sorry. Not. You can't switch, though. Once Please pick one, unfortunately. Uh, do you guys have any any uh, like weird... Let's say let's say it's it's party mode. Beers... Ganja, I don't know if you partake, but it's one of those nights, and now it's time to grub. What is the ultimate munchy snack? Renee's. Oh, uh, we have a bunch of like twenty-four yeah, seven uh Mexican burrito places around here. So a lot of times like and this isn't just us, this is like just in Wichita in general, but like a lot of us will make our way to like a place called Renee's or uh Alejandro's. Renee's and, uh, is a Mexican spot? Yeah. 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 There's also a place called Roadrunner Burritos that has a really good yeah. um Alpha store burrito. And uh yeah. That's so, pretty much 
Yeah, I think the whole city of Wichita does that. So you'll agreements. you'll find pretty much everyone that's been at the bar yeah, there. Yeah, if I'm if I'm messed up, dude. There's like a handful of places with different names, but they all have like the same shit. Fucking Colorado burritos and Texas burritos, burritos, Wichita burritos. <laughs> I always want breakfast burritos whenever I like partake. You know what I'm saying? Like, give me bacon burrito, breakfast burritos, or give me death. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For sure. Or death. <laughs> uh, well, we're gonna try this trivia. We're gonna try this trivia one more time, then I got a couple more questions for you guys. But this second trivia for Kung Fu Hustle. It's a little bit of an elaborate question, so bear with me, but it'll recall it'll help you recall the scene. More Axe Gang members turn up with Brother Sum. Brother Sum gathers up residents of the pigsty alley. Uh, he selects two children who has petrol patrol poured onto them. Who stops the lit lighter from reaching the children? The, what? the guy with the rice bags. Fucking. I need a Trevor, name. The, the, I can't remember his fucking was name. It, was he was the, the like kickboxer. It, it doesn't say anything about a kickboxer, but if you have a name, that's it gives me the name. It starts. Um, I'll give you a hint. It starts with a C. No, <laughs> that's not great. Dude. Enjoy some more hot sauce. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The answer is Cooley. Cooley. And I'm going to go with some blueberry hellfire Ooh. right here. Um, so do you guys have a, a touring vehicle already? Like if, if, if a label came along and was like, we want to sign Atria, the numbers look good, the contract looks good, legal team, legal team says go. Could you guys up and go if the family, if all your family said yes, or do we need to start a GoFundMe to get a touring vehicle going? <laughs> oh, probably definitely a GoFundMe. Uh, probably GoFundMe. Um, we are pretty much on the on the look consistently for stuff like that. That would pretty that's pretty much our last step in order to be able to do that stuff right now. Um, when we went. Down to Dallas, we like rented a car or rented a van from uh, one of those rental places. Oh, that's for and uh, I mean, that's really our only that's our only thing, dude. That's like the only thing that's really stopping us because obviously gas has gotten so expensive uh, that it it's made like up and coming bands like it's almost impossible for us, you know. To, what, what's the to price of regular? Us. What's the price of regular around your way? Fuck, like, uh, it's not California, dude. Like, I know that you're gonna hear ours and you're telling us to be like, dude, quit, quit bitching now. Uh, it's like what, three, three something, something here? Something like that. It's like, like three. Five last time I got gas, but that was over a week ago. Yeah, it's like th between three thirty, three forty around there. I don't think it's ever been that in the 10 years I've lived in California. I'm just saying, but I already, right now, if I'm lucky, I'm looking at like 490. Like if I'm That's lucky, painful, dog. and if you go to LA and you're like right in the heart of like Sunset Hollywoodish area, you're probably looking at like six ten for one gallon. Oh God, I know it is. It's terrible. Wow. Um. Well, fellas, I mean, I appreciate your guys' time, man. Like I said, we we the fans nominated you in in Blue Devils as as one of their favorite songs of the entire year, and I I thoroughly agree with them on that. I can't wait to hear the name of the big names that you guys have planned for some features. A little seven string action, maybe getting a little heavier on some songs, possibly. I think it would be cool. And uh, yeah, the the 12 or 13 song album is going to be fantastic. Please come to California so we can bring a small army and come support, buy a bunch of merch and give you some money in your wallet and stuff so you make it to the next one. But you guys are just badass, man. We've been fans for a really long time. Thank you. Yeah, we really appreciate everything that you do, man. Seriously. Um, you guys have always been super kind to us, and um, we, we, we love the love. So, thank you. It is my pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, please follow and support Atria. They're amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, Atria! Yeah, hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, be good, brother. Yeah. Hi, what's up, Welcome to the local band Smokeout.